playing winners. I believe it was 2-0, if I remember correctly. Um, and it was, yeah, Lucario versus Falcon. And to re-harp on some of what had happened in that game, a lot of really good edge guards from Gatsby. But what those higher percents, as soon as the Aura Sphere starts coming out, there are these massive hitboxes that shut down all of Gatsby's movement. So he has to be really careful not to let him get to the point where it's not even, oh, you know, you can die to back air at 40. It's like you're, he's guaranteed to have a move that just shuts down the strongest part of your kit. Again, but also the, I, one of the real things that actually shut down a lot of Lucario's wave bounces is keeping, you know, moving, never standing still. A lot of, like, what people don't know about this matchup is that the more that you move around, the more you deny a lot of space from Lucario. Standing still is probably only going to yield you a lot of more situations where you're not allowed to get out of, you know, or spear wave bounces, where you're forced into these situations where you have to choose air dodge, you have to choose jump. Because if you don't, then you will probably just die at pretty low percent because of it. Did you see the spot dodge right there? So smart from VV, knowing what Gatsby's looking for, what his habits are. It feels like the code has already been cracked. However, Gatsby is a, you know, he's, he is a complex code to say the least. All sorts of other bits and pieces that you have to be careful about here. Bash attack is not enough to do it. All of a sudden, he has that big Lucario energy. He's at 150. He has all of his rage, all this power in his body. And oh, this could be it. Yeah, right there again. Oh, catching. Wow. That's, That's like the third time he's caught the extreme absolutely. speed. And here's the thing, too. Other than the fact that, okay, you know, that's just going to happen. But other than the fact that Falcon has the ability to reach there, I really feel like BB has been in super control of that ledge. But whenever it's on the reverse side, it's, ob it's obvious it's going to happen. But Gatsby just takes super control of when he's at ledge. It's super, like, dominant that a lot of the time we've seen BB just die in those situations. Absolutely. Oh, but BB not quite dying just yet. Gatsby's looking for that finishing blow. He realizes that this is a really it's an awkward percent range where if he doesn't kill him now, he's going to have even less ways to set up for a kill. And then eventually he might have to face down 130, 140% Lucario. So he is kill oriented at this exact point in time. Oh, I'm loving his facing, the way he's he's like moving faster and stopping. He's like pivoting in place and trying to just put himself in the exact position he needs to be. Oh, but he's just not finding that sweet spot right now. Oh, that was so close to death, but that Orc Spear is going to take it. This is something that I definitely really like about Gaffey. He's definitely choosing a lot of good, you know, options off of ledge. But all Vivi really needs is to really just get a hold of those defensive options at ledge. And he can definitely make something of this kill. Vivi can actually kill Gatsby, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. Not no more. Ooh, I'm, nope. That was some questionable DI. I don't know. I, maybe he would have died regardless, but I mean, dying off the top to a side B like that. Uppy? I like this. Look at the way he's using the platforms. Gatsby is actually trying to not be on the ground because the ground is where Aura Sphere is the threat. Instead, he's going hopping from platform to platform, trying to see, notice the chinks in the armor. Seeing if, oh, what, a, what kind of, oh, oh my. Oh. He's trying to bust the armor line open right there. Ooh, oh. very nice. Trying to get something going right here. This is where the Gatsby's things start, but. How did he dodge that? <laughs> he morphed balls from like a frame and just completely dodged that, that photo sphere. Listen. You don't know about the Fal the things that Falcon be doing. <laughs> Falcon, Falcon be doing some gymnastics, I'm telling you. Man. How do you think he got the knees on proper? Hello? Listen, knees like that take work. Mm. Oh god, what was that? Um, uh, that I'm, DI that like was I'm allowed to say that was bad DI, right? Oh, We're all in agreement here. That was... What? That was a forward throw. What? I guess he was being eyeing out because he was worried about down throw. throw. Was that force bomb? Yeah. Yeah, let's get, get I'm pretty a look sure here. it's force bomb. Uh Stop the battle. Oh yeah, that was force bomb. Okay, okay but still, no yeah, just sent it right to the blast. No. But we have to get into the second game and then I'm really I'm Three, two, going back to this one, stage, I'm go. telling you. I'm really, nope, nope. Oh my. 
I'm really interested to see how Gatsby's gonna choose a different approach to this stage. Because honestly, we saw how it really worked in that first, um, that first time overall. BB just had too much space to play around, and I feel like that might be a little bit too much of a detriment if Gatsby can't actually find out how to get, um, you know, around this. Yeah, oh, but catching those landings. I, he doesn't have a jump. This could be massive. Oh, he gives him the jump, though, because he gets swallowed up by that up B. Oh, and of a sudden, now we have Gatsby once more in control at the ledge. Vivi's trying to find it. He Ooh. goes for the counter. We hadn't really seen him do that. No, no, no. See, here's the thing, right? Because Vivi has a habit to do that whenever he's going to be, you know, at a platform, whenever he's landing on a platform, he tends to do double team or, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's double that team. That is double team, yes. He does, he does double team a lot, and that happened to Gatsby in the first set of that last game where he did that, and he actually died for it. Correct, yes. But that's definitely... I don't know why he was holding that on the pocket so long, but he did. And then that's what happened. He's dead now. Well, not right now, but you know what I mean. Yeah, well, Gatsby has the lead here. Let's see what he can do with it. <sighs> Leads against Lucario are so weird and nebulous, and, like, what does it even mean? Because unless... I mean, if you take a whole stock lead, now that's, that's, that's something else entirely. But as it stands right now, eventually, you know, Vivi's going to get to the point where he can take the stock... And now this is, like, I've never seen a more even game in my life. <laughs> if really anything, Lucario is ahead right now. Lucario makes you rethink life. Like, what is the meaning of life? Let's be completely honest. What does advantage state even mean? I am simply but a, a, a... Maybe we go about all our lives. The second we are born, we're just trying to get through disadvantage. Listen, <laughs> I mean, if this is the King Anubis, let's talk about it. But God of death right here. Yeah, Young. this is... Gatsby's not looking quite as good. That gap has shrunk to almost insignificant amounts. Never mind. Again, what was second he time what he's was done he that. Yeah, that's actually like... That's like the fourth time he's caught the high extreme speeds. I understand why VV's going for them, but I think at this point... Yeah, no, those are not the right call. And we might just see another situation where... If Eevee can't get this recovery on work, that he might just end up... Might be losing this game. I don't know. Oof. Well, I mean, at this point, definitely Gatsby is poised to win. He just needs to continue <laughs> continue on the path he's been. And, oh, you saw he went that for the fourth so ball. Close. He went the wrong way, though. He didn't know what side of the he was going to end up after that down air. And again, reading that roll with an up B. Just good reactions from Gatsby. That's kind of all he has to do right now is play in a very reactive way. Oh, but here it comes. The Aura Spheres that take up the whole stage. How is he actually going to get in at this point? I don't know. And, ooh, that's not going to kill just entirely yet. Ooh, that could have been death right there, but it's not. And this is definitely super scary for Vivi. He can take this stock off. He yeah. only has a few more chances. That's going to be it. And this is where we start to see the thing. Yeah, no, here is where the game is truly decided. I mean, 180, 148%. Vivi dies to so much, but at the same time, if Gatsby isn't careful. <gasps> oh my god. Back air right there would have killed. Back air would have killed. Back air at this point, and right here, if he reads another jump like he's been doing throughout the rest of this game. But Ooh. a beautiful. Not enough! And no, not. This is so close. I'm actually really scared right now because Vivi's at super high percents right now. Oh, 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 that's, is that it? You're not kidding. You're kidding! Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god! Captain Falcon did not, a B did not kill at 160. And uh, then you had that. Oh my god. Yeah, that no, was... stop because I'm so happy. This is the first time we've seen VV take a Xeno. No, is that true? Yo. Wait, a second, second time? Okay, yeah. Can we get confirmation on whether or not I'm this pretty is sure first yeah. Yeah. No, no, he, he won he yeah. literally won Xeno while me and Dill were in Florida doing Smash World Tour. And I was like, rude, you <laughs> won without us? <laughs> That's Can't so believe crazy. it. Then it wasn't real Xeno. That was, I wasn't yeah. here for that. That's literally so crazy. I was over here thinking, I was like, yo, I'm, let's have VV win a, a Xeno for once, and then it didn't happen. And then this happened, like this happened without me? Yep. I feel attacked. Well, now you... Uh, 
Honestly, this one felt really deserved, though. There was a lot of high-quality players at this tournament. You had Devin and Dill in attendance, so you know mm -hmm. it's legitimate. And uh, just it didn't matter. He took out every single one of them, standing atop, managing to get two two O's in the finals. So really just cementing that victory. Uh, but also, a lot of other players tonight who normally we don't see going this deep, doing a great showing. Carflow getting top mm -hmm. eight. I don't know how... Carflow's gotten top eight before. I don't think I've seen him perform the way he has. I don't think he's tonight. done. Yeah. I, I think this yeah. is his first time in top eight. Booty, first time ever breaking top three. Mm -hmm. Gatsby in the top two. It, I don't think we've had Gatsby in top two before. I, I either, don't think we. I've seen him in grands. This is, yeah, know. this is the first time he's ever been in grands. Just an absolutely, like, honestly, if anything, now you're right. It is anticlimactic that VV already won a tournament. Womp, but womp. Womp, womp. Um, Devin, why you got my fun like that. That's so crazy. We can lie to them. What are they right. going to do? Fact check us? Congratulations to Vivi for winning his first Xeno. <laughs> oh Yay! Cue, um, I don't know, FNAF music. Anyways. Um, FNAF music. Oh yes. That's if that's what happens Hello? the first time you win Xeno, I never want to win a Xeno. Yeah. Yay. Not anyways, ever will. Um, can we do some ads? I really want to do some ads. If you, uh, I... Just really quick. There you go. Just those ads. Yeah. So, again... Just to make sure that you guys are watching the lovely House of 3000. Make sure you send in your prayers to the House of 3000. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, which you guys are watching right now, and YouTube, where we have instantly uploaded VODs. And would, yes. you, would you like to? And I others? will, because we are back. You know, obviously, things got a little bit crazy these past few months. You know, we had to very smartly step away. Just make sure to wait for things to calm down. Uh, but now we are here every single Wednesday. And Tri-State has... The, the game has changed. There's a reason why we're seeing players in top eight that we normally don't. It's because they have still been grinding and the grind never stops. The field has totally changed. And if you want to see that development, continue tuning in every single Wednesday or become a part of it yourself and actually make it down here to uh, 21 Ludlow Street here in New York, New York. But regardless, uh, mm -hmm. I think we have to wrap things up. It is getting kind of late here. You have um, any last words? Yes. Um, my, any last words? Uh, follow me on Twitter at saltyfun underscore. Uh, of course. Uh, yeah. Do you want to give some? I mean, I don't know. If you want to know more about me, I am Jazzy G A K Jazzy Triple the Bayonetta connoisseur, anything Bayonetta related. You need to know. I got you. Anyways, I think you gotta go. Yeah. No, I think we gotta. It has been all types of real, everybody. So please have a good one, and we'll see you next week. Bye.